In this video, we're going to be looking at accidental crossings. And what that means is a location on a graph where lines cross, just like right here. This edge and this edge cross, these lines cross. But notice, I did not draw a vertex here. Why? Well, because these two edges are not really meeting at this location. So we refer to this as an accidental crossing. Accidental crossing. In other words, it's a location where the lines and edges look as if they're crossing, but aren't really crossing. And the same thing is here and here. And sure, you could say, well, they are crossing each other. Okay, but we're not highlighting them with a vertex, and that might mean a lot depending on the problem you have. And what I mean is, let's say we have a problem that deals with, with airports. So we have the green airline, and the airports from the green airline, perhaps they're flying along this way, so from A to B. And at the, the blue airline, perhaps they're flying from C to D. And the red airline might be flying from E to F. And imagine that for whatever reason, um, and the weather or the speed of the planes, the way it's actually set up is as planes from the blue line are flying this way and they arrive at this accidental crossing, the green planes are also going to arrive there. And we don't want them hitting each other, right? We don't want the planes flying into each other. That's not the goal here. So perhaps the blue line is flying below the green line. So if the blue line is flying at 100 feet, perhaps the green line is flying at 10,000 feet. And yes, their paths from overhead, as we're seeing this, it looks like they're going to cross. But really, they're flying at different elevations. And this flat graph can't tell you elevation. So it looks like they're crossing, but they're not really crossing. Same thing here. We don't want the red and green line to actually hit. So they're flying at different elevations. And here, the red and blue line, we don't want them to hit. So yes, their flight paths do cross um, what looks like the same physical space, but they're at different heights. So they're not actually going to hit each other. This has all types of applications. You can think of uh, green as being a railway line, C as being a subway line below ground, and A as being some sort of highway, right? And maybe there's tunnels where they don't hit each other or bridges, uh, but there are all types of applications. So don't feel like if you're drawing edges when they cross, don't feel you have to draw a vertice there. It might not make sense.